Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs and back to our design pattern series. So in this video, we are going to talk about that. What do you mean by strategy pattern? It's a very simple design pattern. And then how to implement the strategy pattern in Java, we are going to talk about it. So strategy pattern means there are four important things that you have to consider here. The first thing is that you have to define the strategy. For example, let's see, I have uh, various in my e-commerce e application, I have various ways of making the payment, maybe credit card payment, PayPal payment or bank transfer or maybe other payment options are available. So I'll do one thing that I'll just create one payment strategy interface. I will create it and having one abstract method over here. Let's see, this will take one amount variable or amount and it will try to like just simple define the method over here and we know that in the interface we cannot have any method body here so after that what we will do that we will create the different strategy based classes like credit card payment paypal payment and bank transfer payment we have to make sure that okay we have to uh, follow the single responsibility principle srp principle also that credit card payment class is responsible only and only for the credit card related payment same thing for payment, uh, PayPal payment is related to and responsible for the PayPal related payment. Same thing for bank transfer over here. So all these classes will try to implement the features like pay feature, whatever the abstract methods are available, it will try to implement that. Then after that, what we will do, we will create one context class over here. This is my payment context class. And then we will define the payment strategies here for the client. So client will never try to interact with the credit card payment or PayPal payment or bank transfer. Client will create the object of payment context and then supply that what a strategy or which method of the payment I want to use it over here. So client will just simple call this particular payment context and will supply that I want to make the payment maybe via credit card or maybe via PayPal or bank transfer or whatever. On the basis of that, it will switch the strategy automatically. From the client side also, we can define first time, let's say I'm making the payment via credit card, PayPal or bank transfer here. So here are four strategies or you will say four different levels you have to create in this particular uh, pattern. First, you have to define the what kind of payment strategy, what kind of uh, interface. So let's see one, we really want to implement the pay feature. And then at the second level over here, the second level is the implementation part. Third level is the context part and the fourth is obviously the client part over here. So this is called your strategy pattern. Advantage is that very flexible. Second thing is that the code is uh, totally isolated and a single responsibility principle it is implementing it. Tomorrow any kind of other payment options you want to add it over here. You can just simply create a class and define the payment strategy and then uh, payment strategy over here and give the option to the client that now you can make the payment via let's say UPI payment or Google pay or something else as well here right so let's see how to implement that in Java so I have already created one uh, package here now quickly I'm just going to create one interface so let's quickly create one interface my interface name but I'm going to define let's see payment strategy interface so this is my uh, payment strategy interface that is what it's available here and this in this particular interface I'm going to create one method the method says okay let's see let's create one method which is a void method which will take let's see one double amount you just supply the amount and then we will uh, simple make the payment and the payment method is this and then I'm going to create double variable over here so this is simple method let's see we have created this is obviously abstract method no uh, method body in interface and then after that, what I'll do, I'm just going to define number of classes, like how exactly you want to make the payment, like through credit card or PayPal or bank transfer or whatever. So concrete strategies that we are going to define it over here. So I simple say, let's see, this is my first one is the, let's see, this is my credit card payment. So I'm writing credit card payment class. And this credit card payment class is actually doing what is actually implementing the payment strategy here so which keyword we have to use we have to use implements keyword here this one and now if you are implementing the interface you have to override or you have to implement the method also of the interface so see I'm going to implement that method as well that override pay method or payment method whatever the method that you have created 
Now I'm going to overwrite here. Now we are giving full liberty for the credit card payment. How you want to make the payment? So you can write the business logic for the credit card payment here. Okay. So whatever the business logic, let's say I'm just simply writing system dot out print Allen. Here I'm writing, let's see, making the payment. Okay, making the payment of what? Whatever the amount that you are supplying. And then again, I'm writing that using what? Using credit card. Something like this. So here I'm writing using credit card here like that. Right? So whatever the business logic, right now we are not focusing on the business logic. We just want to implement the design here. So this class is ready. Now I really want to make, let's see, for PayPal payment also. So let's create uh, one more here. PayPal payment option. PayPal payment is also doing the same thing. It's saying that, okay, fine. I'm going to implement the payment strategy and override this particular method. So I'll do the same thing here that uh, override this method and making the payment of this using what? Using your PayPal. So I'm saying your use your PayPal ID or whatever. Simple. Using PayPal, I'm using it. Now, same thing if I really want to add, let's see for the credit card, that in that case, I can simply create one, sorry, credit card or bank transfer, whatever you want to create. You can create one, uh, let's see, a uh, bank transfer payment also. So here I'm writing one more uh, bank transfer payment and then click on finish. And the same thing over here as well that fine implementing the payment strategy and making the payment of this using what? Using the bank transfer. So here I'm writing, let's see, using the bank transfer over here, right? So let's see, these are the three concrete classes with the respective uh, overridden method that we have created here. Now we are going to define the payment context. This is the main context class. So let's create that. So here I'm going to create another class. This is my, let's see, I'm giving any name, let's see payment a context class name. This payment context class is saying what? This payment context class is not the child of any or implementing any class or any interface or extending any class. Simple, I'm just going to define what? Here I'm going to define, let's see, whatever the payment strategy interface reference variable. First, I'm going to have its own private reference variable here. So let's see this one. And uh, we will try to use the top casting over here. So let's see payment strategy. That is what we have to use. And then I'm going to create the constructor of this class also. So let's create that. So constructor will remain same as the same name as the class name. And whatever the payment strategy, I'm saying whenever someone is trying to create the object of this, supply the payment strategy over here. And then in that case, now I'm going to supply the same payment strategy is equal to with the help of this keyword and payment strategy. Just like in Selenium, what we do, this dot driver equal to driver fine then i'll do one thing i'm just going to create one setter also let's see set payment strategy method set payment strategy method says what you give me what you give me once again this is the specific payment strategy that you give it to me right and then do what this method is also doing the same thing let's see later on if someone wants to really update the payment strategy or switch the payment strategy to some other payment strategy we can do that as well and this method will be avoid in nature so this is just one setter that we have created and then i'm going to define let's see one pay method also or make payment also where the client will call this particular payment method and then i'm saying you have to give me the amount here let's see this one and then how will you call it whatever the payment strategy this reference variable and then you do what dot pay method that is what we can simply use it here and whatever the amount that you are supplying you can supply that right so let's see this is the payment context is ready simple that's it now after the payment context we just need to create one client class where we will try to test this particular feature so i'm going to create let's see this is my uh, payment test having the main method now so that we can test it so let's see so i'll do one thing for the payment option point of view, I'll just need to do what? I just need to create the object of payment context. So see, I'm going to create the object of payment context with the simple new keyword here. So let's see, this is my uh, context, which is equal to a new keyword. That is what I'm going to write. And then the constructor is waiting for what? The constructor says that you have to give me the payment strategy. And payment strategy is what? The reference variable of the interface. So 
can i do the top casting here can i say okay fine my strategy is what i want to make the payment using gate card payment that's it right so i can just simply supply the object of the child class to the payment contact interface it will be given to the parent interface reference variable so this is what a typical top casting we are using it the child class object can be referred by parent interface reference variable so this is exactly same thing new credit card payment we are giving it here and then with the help of this context which method we have to use simple use whatever the overridden method pay method that i'm going to use it here so let's say i really want to make the payment something like let's see 120.89 something like that i really want to make the payment so in that case where exactly it will go because see this the payment context is set with what with the whatever the object that we are supplying we are supplying the credit card payment right so the payment strategy is pointing where payment strategy is pointing to the credit card payment object right and then the same payment strategy will be pointing to this particular object and once you make the payment which method will be called right so with the simple driver dot get method we call it same thing here that this is what the interface reference variable dot pay this reference variable is pointing to the credit card payment object so it will call the credit card payment method over here and then making the payment via <coughs> credit card will happen so let's see is it really working or not so see this run as java application and you can see on the console output yes making the payment of this using credit card perfect now if i really want to switch to paypal <coughs> what should i do do i need to create another context no you just simple use it dot setter you can use it the setter that we have given that is the purpose of the uh, set method here so that tomorrow if you really want to change the payment strategy or payment switch you can do it here now what is the new payment strategy here i'm saying the new payment strategy is let's say i really want to make the payment using uh, paypal payment i want to use that <coughs> right so context dot set paypal uh, strategy that i really want to use it then again i really want to make the payment let's see through paypal i am saying i really want to make the payment 500.11 something like this i really want to make the payment so in that case after changing the strategy to the new paypal payment then what will happen we can just simple we can write a strategy here just change the method spelling the strategy and then the same thing i'm using it over here right so this time what will happen we are giving the paypal payment class object and now the top casting will happen interface reference variable will start pointing to the paypal uh, payment class object and then in the after that if i'm calling the pay method the paypal payment method will be called so let's run it and let's see that again so when you see this here we are making the payment 500 Point one one using the PayPal. Quickly, if I really want to change the context, once again the payment strategy context to where let's you do the bank transfer. So I can just simple do the bank transfer over here or any other bank transfer payment or any other payment strategy you want to use it. So let's see for bank transfer. I am saying I really want to make it twenty five hundred something like this point two two. Then let's run it again and then let's see that. So the output will be what. making the payment 2500.22 using bank transfer here simple so from the client side client just they just need to define the context and supply the what type of a strategy that you want this is what we have discussed we'll try to make the payment using gate card paypal and bank transfer right and then client can switch also using the setter second thing is that it will call the payment context see this We'll try to create the object of payment context and payment context will have the reference variable of this interface and this interface reference variable dynamically on the run time it will decide that i have to attach with the credit card payment through paypal or the bank transfer and then the respective method will be called here simple so very straight forward pattern very easy if you see the advantage it's very flexible reusability is there clarity is there that okay how exactly the client read client will just focus only on the strategy part that which strategy that you really want to use it over here right second thing is that the single responsibility principle it is uh, following so single responsibility principle says that okay the specific class is responsible for the specific work only so credit card payment is not 
talking about how exactly you're going to make the payment via PayPal or bank transfer. Same thing for the PayPal and the bank transfer here as well. Okay, guys, just simple ignore these uh, typos. That's okay. So I hope this is clear. So that's all for today. That's all for this particular video. I'll see you in the next video. In the next video, I'll tell you an example with the Selenium web driver also. How to use a strategy pattern with the Selenium here. Thank you so much.